my favourite things, homemade custard, or as, as chefs call it, creme anglaise. This uh, perfect summer dessert really only needs four ingredients. You need excellent quality vanilla, more of which later, some room temperature free range eggs, and we're going to use four yolks, 300 mils of uh, good quality double cream, and 65 grams of caster sugar. That's all you need for this. First of all, I'm going to show you how to extract the seeds from the vanilla pod. I, I wanted to do this dish because I have a new supplier, a Vanillaism, in, based in Scotland, who source ethical vanilla pods from Bali. I've used a couple, they're fantastic. And um, I want to show you how to get the seeds out of them. All vanilla pods have a kind of hook end at the top and a flat bottom. So we're gonna cut from top to bottom. We're gonna use a knife. This is a small serrated knife, a fruit knife or whatever. We're gonna flatten the pod here and then up at the top, we're gonna make a little incision and then run this knife carefully down the middle of the vanilla pod. And then we'll fan it out slightly. And then we're gonna turn the knife over. We're gonna use the dull part of the knife to extract the seeds. We're not gonna to press too hard. We're just gonna run this gently down and extract these seeds. Tap it onto a wee bolt. Once you've extracted the seeds, do not, I repeat, do not throw away the pod. So many uses for these. You can make liqueurs, but what I do with them is I stick them in a box of icing sugar and uh, it infuses the sugar. Um, there are other uses, so have a wee look, but do not throw these out. Plenty of flavour in them. So now we've extracted the seeds from the vanilla, we're gonna ex uh, infuse it in the cream. 300 mils of double cream into a saucepan, just on a gentle heat. And then we're gonna take these seeds, add them to the cream. Now we're not gonna boil the cream, we're just gonna bring it up to about 60, 70 degrees and let it infuse together. Use a spoon and just mix it through very gently. Next up, we have to separate our eggs. As I say, we're gonna use the egg yolk only. Plenty of uses for egg whites, obvious ones being meringues, but I actually use them for other things as well. They're great if you're salt baking vegetables and uh, they act as a great protector of meat when you want to, for example, use a, a cut of meat that you wanted to cook uh, roast in the oven and keep quite pink, maybe coated in a crumb or a, or a seed or some, some nuts or something. If you brush the meat with the egg yolk, it, it will give the nuts or crumbs something to, uh, with the egg white, sorry, it will give the nuts and yolk something to stick to. And again, it uses them up. Now, we're using this amazing quality vanilla bean today, but you could use a vanilla um, extract you won't get those fantastic speckles and you won't get that kind of really developed aromatic taste but you will get vanilla custard but if you can try and find some good quality vanilla uh, we have our yolks we have our 60 grams of sugar so we're going to add that sugar to the yolks and we're going to whisk it we're going to whisk it up quite light and fluffy as savion style we're going to mix this together Keep going, a little bit of exercise. It takes a few minutes, so I'll be back shortly. So you can see after a couple of minutes, the um, egg yolk and sugar has gone nice and pale. My whisk is, uh, my whisk leaving nice marks in it. It's gone a little bit thicker. This is a basic savion. We're gonna take the infused cream and we're gonna pour half, only half, into the savion and we're going to whisk that through and then we're going to take this and add it back to the heat which already has the other half of the cream in it. Now the sort of main thing with this is to not overcook your custard basically. You've got to cook the yolk out. You want it to be nice and creamy and rich because that's what we all look for in the custard but 
you don't want to overcook it. Nice, gentle heat, and with the heat coming through it, it'll start to cook the egg yolk out. Just keep stirring. Won't take long at all. When you put this back into the fridge, if you're going to eat it later, it will set fairly hard. If you're going to serve it straight away, it'll be a nice pouring custard. Gonna get the heat through that a little bit. We're not going to boil it. We're just going to gently heat it. Once the custard starts to sort of coat the back of the spoon, you'll have a nice pouring custard and you know that it's all been cooked out. So a minute or so later, this has all come together nicely. As you can see, coating the back of the wooden spoon. And turn off the heat. Obviously what I'm really looking forward to is actually trying it. You can see all that amazing fleckles of that fantastic vanilla going through there. Now as I say, if you put this in the fridge, it is going to set quite nicely. I would quite like to try a bit. It's really good. It's only four ingredients and this will pretty much go with every single dessert you plan on having this summer. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can find me on Instagram at chef.catra.edinburgh. Please uh, subscribe to my channel here and give me a like and we'll see you with some cooking soon.